Cine1.org is Cine1.org is almost the best platform so far, which we have. When you go and search for platform for Cine1, you find the best one is Cine1.org. So I thank everyone who made it a point to be part of this. I'm sure you will be blessed when we remain here steady. Uh, my name is teacher Daniel Alira. Yes, that is my name. Teacher Daniel Alira, that is my name. I love senior ones, that's why I'm just happy. I love senior ones and I like handling senior one. And so I'm a teacher of physics for senior one, in particular for senior1.org. If you know any senior one anywhere, who is not in senior1.org, make sure you tell him or her about this. Reason is missing a lot, is missing a lot from here. So talk to them, let them join senior1.org. And in case of anything, please give us your feedback. We are always here to improve our quality. We want our quality to meet your expectation. However, we already know what you want. And so we shall be trying our best to provide quality work and good work as far as the academics is concerned. We don't want you to only grow in the side of academics, but we also want you to grow in the other talent part. That's why we shall be having workshops. We shall be having trainings in our senior1.org so that at least you also develop the talent, the talents, your talents, apart from academics only. So that's briefly my name. I'm Daniel Alera. Let me say it again. I'm Daniel Alera. Glad to be with you and glad to see you. Can I just hear, please allow me hear only hi from one person for sure. Can somebody unmute? Can somebody who is ready hi. to say hi? hi? Can you say hi to me for sure? Hi. Hi, how are you, Jovio? I'm fine. Oh, very good. I'm very happy I've met you for sure. Abigail, Lavi, Levin, Abigail, Babire. I'm so glad I'm with you people here. Birunji, Givona, Patricia, and uh, Evans. I'm just so glad that you're with us here. Uh, we are studying physics today and we are introducing our physics. And uh, in our lesson or in your discussion with me or with any other person, Whenever I'm in class, I don't teach. But when the new curriculum came, I was very happy, very, very happy. I welcomed it with the, actually, if I had four hands, I would welcome it with the four hands. We have to make the class active. We have to participate. Everyone has equal rights to participate. So if you feel there's something which you want to submit, please hit on reaction, raise up the hand. Hit on reaction, I'll see, raise up the hand, say, teacher, this, this, and this. I was under the senior one sometimes, but then somebody asked me, but teacher, how does the plane fly? <laughs> it was the whole lesson. It was the whole lesson, how a plane flies. So when we are here, please feel free, don't be shy. Feel free to ask any question, any question so that at least I can address it well. Is that okay, members? Is it fine? Is it okay? Is it okay? Then you can as well use the chat box. Sometimes you can as well use the chat box. I can read everything from there uh, and I will react immediately. Allow me to start our lesson, but I request that somebody can open this with a prayer. I like prayer so much. I pray because with God, everything is possible. So I normally open everything I'm doing with a prayer. And let us also always open our program with prayer. Can somebody pray for us? Who can pray for us? Can somebody raise the hand? Who can raise the hand and pray for us? And then we start. Hello, 
Yes, I see. Patricia, Patricia, unmute. Evans, Patricia, can you unmute? Father, we thank you for what you've given us. As we are going to start our study, may you guide us, enable us to understand all of faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much for that wonderful prayer. God is with us now. I believe and also do believe. Oh, we are going to start our lesson right away. Uh, let me share my screen with you. Let me share my screen with you so that we can start our lesson right away. Now that you have blessed it uh, with the prayer. Let me share the screen. Can you see on my screen? Say yeah, you can use signal. You can as well use a signal. You can uh, you can use the chat box. You either use a signal or a chat box, then you tell me. Can you see on my screen clearly? It must be clear, okay? It has to be clear. If it's not clear, then that means something's wrong. I have to adjust. I see the chats already. Yes, yes. Yes, Evans is asking is the thing being streamlined? Yes, it is being live stream. Uh, people are saying yes, yes, yes. Okay, good. So that's what we have now. Let me start right away on the first slide. Uh, that is that. I will come everyone in this senior1.org. Senior1.org, if you want it, you just go in our web, you go to the search engine, type senior1.org, you'll find us there. For more information, you can contact us on plus 256-200-907-137 for any concern. If you're not in our WhatsApp group, after this, make sure you give us the number, we add you in our WhatsApp group, where all communications are being done. Good. My name, once again, is Daniel Alera. Welcome you. I welcome you to this channel and this platform. We are discussing physics. Uh, physics is one of the very many subjects that NCDC chose to be studied in Senior One. And it is a branch of science, of course. And we have been seeing this right away from primary. I believe you saw science in primary, primary seven, primary five, primary six there. So one of the branches, the summer journey senior, one of the branches of science is physics. The other one we have biology, the other one we have chemistry. We have very many branches of science, but physics is one of them. And it is the sweetest of all the other branches. The sweetest, sweetest is physics. You will see why I said that it is the sweetest. Sometimes if I don't have sweet to take, if I don't have much to buy sweet, I just read physics books. You find I'm just enjoying because it's just very sweet. We are going to see the reason from here. So uh, to introduce this, we are saying that uh, there are many curriculum documents that we developed, that were developed to support the lower curriculum form. So what I want you to note is, we are going to study physics according to the new curriculum system. The new curriculum system does not test for the knowledge, does not test for recalling facts, does not test for recalling the past, but the new curriculum tests specifically 
what you can do. What you can do with your knowledge. Yes, you might be having the knowledge. What can you do with your knowledge? What do you know best? What is your employable skill? So if somebody says that we want somebody to be working in the computer lab, for you, what can you do in a computer lab that makes the person to choose you to work in the computer lab? Not knowing what a computer lab is, what a computer is and what, what can you do in a computer lab that will make a person to employ you? That is the new curriculum. The curriculum is as good as the way it is. Not, you cannot compare it with something else. So one of them, one of the documents which you have been, which have been written about the lower college alum is the syllabus document and is very important. So the syllabus here entails almost everything which we are going to be studying in physics. So the physics syllabus entails everything which we shall study in physics. So each subject has its own specific syllabus and uh, care to take care of the competency and the learning outcomes. And each of the syllabus takes a care of specific knowledge, understanding, skills, values, and attitudes to acquire in the specific. Now, as we are going to discuss our physics ahead, just a few slides there, we shall be seeing that different topics under physics, what it deals with and how we shall be handling them. So uh, this is okay. The syllabus is the document for teaching and it is ours to apply the basic elements. It's going to guide us. And this syllabus, we are going to put, uh, we shall put that of the lower curriculum for our physics in our Google Classroom, you will also find it there, they will be there. Now, introduction to physics. Oh my God. Once I open a page and then I find introduction of physics, I really become so excited because I know I'm about to reach there. <laughs> you know, when you are going somewhere, then you are not sure where you're going, but you have been reach there, you feel like oh, you should reach there very fast. So introduction of physics. In that attempt to meet the need of the changing world, physics has been modified under the umbrella of the new curriculum, living with it with only three five topics, which will aim at achieving the four pillars of learning. The four pillars of learning we, we teach, we talk about the eye, the cognitive. The, the psychomotor, the hand, the eye, the head, the brain, what it can do. So the topics which are here under physics, they are basically, they have been purified to meet the changing world. I want you to see around us where the world is going. The world is changing direction. The world has changed direction. If you compare the ancient life of people who lived sometimes back and the life we are living right now, they are totally different. And if I may ask some of you, what has changed? What has changed from people who lived long ago, some not even very far, by the way, in 2000, in the 90s, just early 90s, 2000, people who live there is. The life they are living is not the same life we are living now. The world has gone digital. The world has gone digital. I want to ask some few members. Is there anybody who has ever heard of P.O. Box? Have you ever heard of P.O. Box? P.O. Box, the box number. Some schools even do have the P.O. Box. Have you ever heard of P.O. Box? Marion, have you ever heard of P.O. Box? Yes. Mario? You have ever heard of P.O. Box, okay? You have ever heard of P.O. Box? And now, and now you ask yourself, some of you even don't know the use of the P.O. Box, by the way. Up to now, we don't know it. 
Why? It has become useless. It has become useless. PO box used to work in the sense that uh, if you want to write, let's say I want to write for Nicole a letter. I want to write for Nicole a letter. Nicole will be having this box number. So I write a letter, hi Nicole, how are you my friend? Long time, how is it going that side? How is it going this? How are the things? How is mom and dad and what and what? I put all this in the letter. After putting them in the letter, I take it to the box center. Then from there, for them, their work is to, I go and put it in your box number. So if your box number is 45 Mbarara, 45 Kenya, 45 Uganda, or Kampala, I go and put it in box number 45. When you come, you check your box. You open your box, you find the letter there, then you read, then you go back to your home. That's how it used to work. Some of us, you don't know what it works. But these days, do people still write letters? Abigail, when did you write last? When did you last write a letter, Abigail? Abigail, when did you last write a letter? <laughs> it was sometimes back. I'm, I'm very sure. I see a hand up. Yes, Jovio. Jovo. Jovio. Teacher, me have never written a letter. You have never written a letter, but you have been communicating to your friends, right? No, you only write it at school in exams, but I've never written it to anybody. But you have always been communicating to your friend far away, right? Yes. What have you been using? The phone. The phone. <laughs> we have been using the phone. You can talk to your friend, but long ago, it was not there. So that's why I say that the world is going digital. And that's why there's need for this curriculum. Not only that one, there's need for physics. Oh my God. Actually, if the world is, if you study almost every change which is coming up, it is physics. Everything is around physics, physics, physics. And so physics is the pillar of this modern world. And that's why I've told you, physics is the sweetest. Why? Everything lies around physics. And that is why they could not risk to leave it out in our curriculum. Now, the question is, what does, what is entailed in this physics? That should be the question. What is entailed in this physics, which I'm saying, it is everything around us. It is the one which is changing the world. What is entailed in this physics? Okay. Now the question is, the question goes to each of us. Uh, let me do this. Let me do this. Uh, uh, ask a simple question, a simple, simple question. Yes. If somebody, if somebody asks you like physics, you people, have you ever heard of the word physics? And now what does it deal with? Anyway, uh -huh. it's like if they ask you, have you ever heard of this guy called teacher Daniel? Then you say, yeah. Then can you tell us briefly about teacher Daniel? The one thing you know, he teaches physics. Another one, he likes senior ones. <laughs> if somebody asks you, if somebody asks you, physics, have you ever heard of physics? And what does it deal with anyway? Okay, if you, if you know physics, what can you do? What can you do with your physics? That should be the question. Yes, can we answer that brief yeah, question? Phone, yes, Evans. Evans, unmute. Yeah, yes, physics, Evans, and Patricia. Evans. Evans, I've unmuted you, Evans. Physics. Okay. Sorry? Physics is the study 
of matter in reaction to energy. Study of matter in relation to energy. Study of matter in relation to energy. You know, some questions, some answers can bring more questions, by the way. <laughs> That's why when you ask me questions, usually I take time to answer it. That is physics also. When you start answering physics, you'll bring more questions. That is physics. <laughs> okay, Nico. Nico, what do you have to say about physics? Physics is the natural science that, that studies matter. Natural science that studies matter, that deals with the matter. Nico, should I ask you another question? Yes. yes. Nico, should I ask you another yes. question? Yes. What, what does it deal with generally? What does it deal with? Where do we find physics being applied? Where is it? I don't know, teacher. You don't? <laughs> you have, after here, you will know. And I'm sure you are going to start applying it. Yes, Joel. Joel? Physics is applied in mechanics. Very good. Very, very. Joel, have you taken breakfast? Yes. If you are not taken, I would call direct mommy and tell her, please give Joel like two cups of milk. I don't know. <laughs> what did you take? Milk? Porridge? What? Okay. So Joel has said physics deals with mechanics. Mechanics, purely mechanics. Yes, Christine. Christine? Hello, Christine. Yes, teacher. How are you? How are you today, Christine? I'm fine. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. This teacher is physics deals. Teacher physics deals deals with the energy and matter. Energy and matter. It deals with energy and matter. Good. I don't know whether, I will not ask you whether you have taken breakfast. I think you have already taken. So I'll ask you whether, whether you have taken lunch in a few minutes to come. So is there any other, is there any other stuff it deals with, Christine, which you want to add for us? Not teacher. Okay, please. Fine, thank you for participating. Okay. Abigail? Abigail? Abigail and Levin. Abigail and Levin. Teacher. Yes. Physics. Physics deals with electricity. Oh, good. <laughs> good, good, good. It deals with electricity. You without physics, you will not be having electricity, and without electricity, right now you will not be talking like this. It deals with electricity. Very good, very very good. Chantal, Chantal, how are you? I'm fine. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Physics deals with what, Chantal? Yeah, physics is the same. Physics is the science that deals with matter and energy and their interaction. And interaction, their interaction. Good, good, good. It deals with magnetism. Oh my God. Levin, Levin, I want to hear that answer from your mouth. Levin, can you raise up your hand? I want to hear that answer direct from you. That answer is too heavy. Levin, can you raise up the hand? Yes. Yes, can you talk? Physics deals with magnetism. Very good. Make sure you take every lunch, okay? Very good, very good, very good. So some of those are the branches. Can you add for us another one, Marion? 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 Okay. Can Jovio add for us another one? Jovio? 
Physics deals with heat and light. Oh my God, good, good, good. Heat and light. Bigira says heat, very good, Bigira. So basically, those are the branches, those are the stuff that we see here in physics. Physics, this way, one, mechanics, two, heat and thermodynamics, three, modern physics. When you talk about mechanics, this is like, um, this this with like repair work and the, see when we are repairing, we're doing mechanics, we're doing everything that is just mechanics. So it is with the mechanics, then heat is a form of energy that uh, once gained, the temperature of the body reduces and the once is lost. I mean, once gained, the temperature increases and then it basically determines the hotness or coldness of a body. Then modern physics, when talking about modern physics, we can talk about uh, applications of modern physics in hospitals. When you go in the hospital, you find there are x-rays, which are used to determine the structures, that is physics. When you hear around Kampala right now, there are bomb blasts. Bombs are bursting everywhere in Kampala. That is modern physics. Those are atomic physics. So when you deal with it, there are very many applications. Is that fine? Good. Light, that is the form of energy that enables us to see. Yes, there are very many forms of light. Light from the bulb. We have, we have natural sources of light and we have artificial sources of light. Then the other branch is wells. Wells is just a form of energy that transfers, is the disturbance that transfers energy from one point to the other point. Electricity. Very nice. And we have electrostatics together with the magnetism. Magnetism is supplied basically in motors, in the loudspeakers, those you find magnets inside there. So these are the branches of physics. Now, when we started, let me talk this one slowly so that people do not hear it. When you study all these branches, let me tell you, let me tell you, the world will want to be with you forever and ever. Let me come again. When you study all these physics, all these branches of physics, you understand them and you apply them, not just a matter of knowing, the new collection does not need only knowing. Do you, can you apply them? If you can apply them, then the world will not want to miss you. In other words, you will enjoy your life. And my simple question is, now, assume that we have studied all these branches of physics which you have seen and you have told me, assume me we have studied all of them. My question is, which profession can we do? That's a simple question. If you have studied all the branches now, which profession can you do with your physics? <laughs> it is not a matter of having the knowledge and what, what, what can you do with your physics? Jovial. Jovial? Hello, Jovial? An engineer. Oh my God. And I'm very sure, Jovial, you want to be an engineer. No. Oh. <laughs> You want to be? Me, I want to be a neurosurgeon. Oh, good, good, good. There is physics there. A neurosurgeon needs physics. There is some good physics there because you cannot operate a person without those machines. And so a machine is made from that physics. 
Biology is there, chemistry is there. So there is physics there. That's good. Uh, I don't think you're going to tell me a course for sure which does not have physics. I will not have energy to continue. <laughs> okay, Marion. Marion. Hello, Marion. Yes, after studying your physics, what profession can you do with your physics? I yes, can be a nurse. You can be a nurse. You can be a nurse. You can be a nurse. A nurse. Okay. Let 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 me hear from Levin. Levin. There's little physics in being a nurse. That's the truth. Levin. Physics teacher. Oh my God. <laughs> like who? Levin. Like who? I have my boy teacher. school boy teacher. Sorry? There's my favorite teacher at school teacher is physics. Hey, good, 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 good. I like that. So you like to be like, you can do physics teaching. You can lecture physics. You can teach physics at secondary level. You can teach physics. Even you can teach physics to the community, by the way. An electrician, that is Okot Philip. Okot Philip, very good Philip. Philip, can you raise up your hand and you speak your answer? Yes, Philip. Philip, can you speak your answer? I can be an electrician. Very good. You can be an electrician. Good. Uh, we are seeing the courses we can do after studying this physics. What can we study with our physics? Nico, Nico. I want to be a politician. You want a politician? I want to be a politician after studying physics. A politician? What are you saying? A pediatrician, like a doctor who treats. Oh, 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 oh. Good. Good, good. Let's give you a chance to Joel. Yes, Joel. I would like to be an, an inventor. An inventor. I like your dream for sure, Joel. An inventor. You want to invent a medicine that when people take, they don't die. <laughs> That's a big dream. You want to invent something that if somebody takes, that person lives forever and ever. <laughs> that one is only Jesus Christ. Just believe in Christ, you will live forever and ever. Uh, let me hear from Abigail as a last person. Yes, Abigail. When you study physics, you can also become a laboratory manager. Very good, the lab technicians. Coronavirus came into existence. Don't think that it's because of any other stuff, but people sat in the laboratory and they mix chemicals. So you can be a lab technician. People make bombs not from anywhere, not from the shop, not from the school, not from anywhere, but rather from the laboratory. Can I give the last chance to, I would wish to hear from all of you for sure, but there are people who are not raising up their hand for sure. You are making me annoyed. Lucy, Lucy, hello, Lucy. Lucy? Yes, teacher. How are you, Lucy? Bye, Ando. How are you, Lucy? I'm Lucy, fine. how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Lucy, do you want me to be annoyed? No. Now, why can't you participate in class for sure, Lucy? When you study physics, what can you do? Mm, 
You can become Hello, a doctor. You become a doctor. You can yes. be a doc. You can be a doctor. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, fine. Doctor is more of biology and chemistry, but it's okay. Read me. Yes, read me. Read me. A technician. A technician. Good, good, good. A mechanical. Good, Philip. So those are the courses which you can do when you study your physics. Good. So in our teaching, in the teaching which you are going to be handling, you'll, you'll see that you are going to be handled in a special way. One, with the current new curriculum, the teacher is the facilitator. I told you this. The teacher is the facilitator and his work is only to guide you. So your work is to generate ideas. Your work is to generate the content and your work is to bring out the lesson notes. And so you can do this either as an individual or as a group. So the teacher will not come and ask you, what is physics? Then he tells you, physics is the branch of science that deals with the matter in relation to energy. No, the teacher will not do that. What are the branches of physics? Then the teacher replies again, mechanics, ET, modern physics, this one me. No, the teacher is just the facilitator. He will make the ground for you. And from there, you come up with your own ideas. Because of this, there will be no wrong answers in whatever you'll be giving. There will be no wrong answers. As long as you can defend your answer, which you have given, then we assume that you are right. So when we get to school, when you come to me, when in the next lesson I start grouping you, don't ask yourself, how is it being done? We shall be studying in groups. We shall be studying as an individual. We shall be studying, we shall be doing everything together. So this calls for one, it calls for teamwork. That is one, it calls for teamwork. Not only teamwork, it requires, yes, of course, it requires the learner to work with others. That is the teamwork I'm talking about. Not only that, we have to reason things in different perspective in order to generate ideas. We have to think out of the box for sure. If I say, what can you do when you study physics? Then you should look at what are the branches of physics and what do they deal with? So if you know those, the branches of physics and what they deal with, then you can tell what you can do when you study physics. If I talk of electricity, electricity deals with, of course, the electric power. So that means that I can be an electrical engineer. If we talk about mechanics, this with the repair and what, that means that I can do mechanical engineering. I can do petroleum engineering. I can do the medical part, medical lab technician. I can do the medical part of the doctor. I can be a doctor. I can, you can do very many stuff because it is widely applied. And so when you're dealing with the physics, when we shall be having this lesson, we are called upon to reason out things in different perspectives. And in learning, we don't need to be shy. In learning, we don't need to be shy. You have to speak what you think is right. We shall be in groups where you find that some people are talking more than the other, but you find that there are some people who are going to be shut down by others. You have to bring up your ideas and you compile, you generate your ideas to make a complete start. So we need all this. So I call upon my physics learners, who are at the same time are my brothers and sisters, that let us learn to work with the others for us to be successful in this physics 
as far as the curriculum is concerned, then we have to reason things. When I ask you a question, when somebody asks you a question, you don't need to think only this. There was a question that I asked sometimes back, I asked somebody, how can you make, there's a man who is in the village, but this man has like, let's say six children, and every day these children, they need to take ice cream, and this man every day spends almost like 5,000 buying ice cream for the six children. And somebody tried to tell him that he can actually make ice cream from his home. As long as he has a fridge, he has the vanilla, he has water, and also the color. Now, can you try to convince can you try to, your task, your task here is, can you tell the man, the man was not convinced that he can make an ice cream from his home. So the issue is, as a physics student, can you tell the man how he can, can you help the man to make an ice cream? Then the answer, somebody just gave me the answer. How can you help the man? The question was, how can you help the man to make the ice cream? The person said, by describing for him the steps which are taken making ice cream. And of course we need those steps. So the question which, are we, which we're going to be meeting here is not what is, what are, state this, explain this, no. The questions which are going to be here are going to be problem based, the scenario based. Assume that you are being sent by your dad to go in a function and represent your dad. Let's say it's a wedding ceremony. Can you write down like in not more than 50 words, the statement which you're going to make at the burial. So that is a scenario best. So a scenario best is the type of question which you are going to be asking here. So that requires teamwork, reasoning things in different perspective, thinking out of the box. I want us to get this clearly, my friends, my lovely senior ones, so that when we get out of this, ah, we have very many employable skills that every employer would wish to employ us. That is the cause for teamwork, thinking out of the box. The new curriculum is competency-based. The physics is going to be competence-based in a sense that it will test for the ability of the learner. Our, we shall be testing your ability, what you can do, but what you know but not what you recall, but not what you know. What you can do is what we are going to be testing under this physics. So when you're talking about mechanics, we shall be testing what can you do under mechanics? Not what do you know about mechanics? No, knowing is one thing, but doing is also another thing. You people, don't you think it's going to be beautiful, if I may ask? Don't you think it's going to be beautiful? They want what we can do with mechanics, but not what you know about mechanics. Isn't it beautiful, really? Isn't that beautiful? That means that we can do very many things. We shall be doing very many things under this. I see it is beautiful. So the new Kalishra, as far as physics is concerned, it is competency-based. It will test for the ability, what you can do, but not what you can recall. It does not test for the knowledge, but rather the employable skills. We need to note that. What is the purpose of the new physics curriculum? At least I've already given the hint on this. It is to skill us. It is to pack us. It is to enrich us. It is to give us employable skills 
that are competitive in the job market. There are very many people who have done physics, but when you get those people, you find what they do, they are totally different. And yet they said the same stuff. We have, I've told you, we have very many organization on a website, which deals with senior one. But you realize that senior1.org is quite different from other senior one website. Senior1.org does its thing in a specific and a unique way. It aims at providing the quality work. Senior1.org is like the new curriculum. It aims at providing the quality work that if you learn on it, you will not regret. You will start only regretting why you landed on it late. That is the senior1.org. That is the same story with the new physics curriculum. It will be giving us the skills in physics that when we go out there, we can get jobs easily. When we don't have the job, we can start our own jobs. We do our own jobs. We become self-employed because of the skills which we shall be having. We come out when we know how to repair a radio. We come out when we know how to repair a phone. We come out when we know how to make ice cream. We come out when we know how to do electricity connect electricity, how to generate power. We shall come out when we have all those skills, which we shall see. Now, the job carriers, we already talked about them, business analyst, data analyst, an engineer, patient attorney, then we have physicist, a physics researcher, we have a physics teacher or a professor, we have a programmer. So these are the courses which you can do with our physics. What are the skills which we need in physics? What are the skills which you are going to be developing in physics? One, problem solving. A senior one graduate, after taking you through all these courses, of physics, you'll be in position to solve problems with a pragmatic and analytical approach. Not only that one, you'll be in position to construct logical, logical arguments. You'll also be in position to interpret complex problems. You will speak. One day I was in the function and they, they brought, there came a young boy of, I think he was around like six years old. The, the boy talked and then I was impressed. The boy said, hello, I let me take this opportunity to welcome you to this occasion. I thank everyone for honoring our invitation. As you hear, make sure you feel free, feel comfortable. The boy talked for over 10 minutes. Then my hand was on the head. Ah. Ha, 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 ha. I was wondering, but little did I know that that was a skill. And when we are studying physics, we have to be speaking, we have to be positioned to make logical arguments. When you start arguing with an old person, you argue like an old person, but when you're only 10 years old. So this is the skill which we want here. Reasoning. You have seen people go in the parliament and they don't talk. Some people, they even doze in the parliament, by the way. <laughs> After electing them to go and represent us, they start dozing there. So we don't want such. Want, after passing through senior1.org and you are done with the curriculum for senior one physics, my God, you will be like, oh, like, People will not believe that you're the one. So those are the skills we need. We need research and data analysis, applying analytical skills. We have phones, some people, we use our phones for only what? 
for only let's say like uh, Facebook, WhatsApp, what I'm um, up eh, you're using your phone for studying. This is very good. Actually, after here, you tell the parent, tell the dad, tell the mom, tell the brother, tell the sister, the aunt, the uncle who has supported you. Tell them the teachers thank you so much. For sure, you have chosen the right path. They have done a lot. But that's why I like parents. God, I think that's why God even put it in the commandment, commandment number five, that you have to respect your parents. And if you respect your parents, your days are going to be very many in this world. That's God's commandment, not mine. The fifth commandment. It is in Exodus. You can go to Exodus 20. You will find the commandments there. So parents, for sure, they have done a lot for us. I thank them. They have decided to give you the phone, the doctor, and others. Please, after here, go on Google. You go on Google, you search about physics. This is the research which you're talking about. We also need numerical skills. That is the numerics. Using mathematics to find solutions to problems. That's what we need. Then we need practical skills. Can you repair a phone? Can you repair a radio? If your car gets a puncture, what can you do? If your bike gets a puncture, what can you do? In case a brake line has broken, do you run to the technician? In case you are, let's say the electricity is off in your house and the wire has gotten burned, do you call the electrician and what? So these are the practical skills. Can you produce light from water? Can you produce light, let's say from salt and water? Can you produce can you produce, let's say, electricity from cow dung? I mean, these are practical skills, which we are going to be learning in the physics. I don't know how you how you're seeing the sweetness of physics for sure. I see. Then we have communication skills. So when it comes to communication skill, how do you express yourself? If somebody asks you, who are you? Can you introduce yourself? Then you start saying, uh, I'm Marion, I'm Marion. Then you say that, uh, even before you say, I'm Marion, you say that I come from this, um, I'm a Ugandan, I'm what, I'm this. Even before saying your name, you have to come, and even you find you're shaking. So that is not what you want. You stand upright, straight, and talk. That's what you want here. Then working together as team as a team is what we are also testing here. So skills of doing things as a team is what we're testing here. Team work. Good, time management and organization is what we need. Then lastly is the information technology, the computer skills. You need to have the computer skills in programming, in software packages, doing everything, we shall do it in physics. And all these skills, we must be having them. At last, at last, can you see on my cycle? Can you see there? At last, we are going to be people who are good at communicating. We are going to be people who are great critical thinkers. We are going to be people who are creative thinkers. We are going to be people who have quality characters. We are going to be good citizen. We are going to be people who support the community. And we are going to be people who are authentic and connected to the whole world. Now, if you are described by this site, now, really, is there anything you are missing? My humble appeal to you is attend to all the programs which we have as senior1.org and acquire all the skills, specifically from physics. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. This is so good. 
So you'll be in position to have those constructions that is um, civil something stuff, uh, making cakes, cakes. You can be making cakes using the skills that is physics, uh, phones. You'll be making also phones and doing other stuff. So that is that. Now, I will be assessing. We shall be doing assessments of physics. And uh, as per our standard, or per the UNEP standard, there are going to be two assessing bodies. We have UNEP and the school. The school will do what's going to be summative assessment, which will contribute 20% of the total marks which you are going to get at the end of the course. So 20% of the total marks, that means you never will work it out of 80 only. So 20% will come from the school. Where the school, I like nursery teachers and also nursery education. Why? They also test skills. If you check the report cards for nursery, you find Communication skill, 80%. How to use anchor chief, 80%. How does he deal with his friends, 70%. That is necessary. How does he use the anchor chief, 80%, 90%. How does he communicate with the friends, 20%. How does he dispose of the, the waste, 70%. Those are the skills. That is the same story when it comes to this new curriculum. We shall be assessing. What can you do at school? Then we compile everything and then we send to UNEV and it will contribute 20%. Of course, it will be physics based. We shall be doing assessment. Uh, then it is under project, we shall be doing projects and also what we call to be the activity of integration, which will always be at the end of every topic. So this is how the assessment is going to be done. Then school assessment will be done from the first year that you join up to the last year at every end of the topic. And this assessment is called the activity of integration. So after teaching our first topic in physics is laboratory. Laboratory is a special room which is used to what? Which is used to carry out experiments. Is there somebody who knows some of the apparatus which are found in the laboratory? If you know some of the apparatus which are found in the laboratory, is there anyone who knows some of the apparatus? Raise up the hand and give me the apparatuses found in the laboratory. Yes, Joel. 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 You all have not heard you. A Ebika. Ebika, very good. Read me, read me. Read me. Uh, me measuring cylinder. Very good, measuring cylinder. Very good. Philip Odoch. Philip Odoch. A Bansen Banner. Bansen Banner, very good, very good. Timon, Timon. A burette. Very good, a burette. Now, Timon, I'm going to ask you a simple question, okay? Yes. Uh, Timon, I'm going to assume that you are the lab attendant, right? Yes. What does the lab attendant do? Timon? He's in charge of the laboratory. The one who is in charge of the laboratory. Very good. Now, you are the lab attendant, and they have asked you, can you design the laboratory rules? Have you heard that? Yes. Can you design the laboratory rule? What would you be your rule number one? Mm. Do not touch anything when without permission. Do not touch anything without permission in the lab. 
What will be your rule number two? Do not run in the laboratory. Don't run or play in the laboratory. Is that okay? Yes. What if somebody plays? What, did, what will happen to that person? Mm. They are punished. Punished? No, like, leave alone the punishment. What if somebody goes and then he's not aware of the, 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 the rule? Then let's say that the person starts playing in the laboratory. What can happen? They can break the, the, the laboratory apparatus. They can break the laboratory apparatus, OK? Yes. So those are the two rules that you can design. Joel, which rule, which other rules can you design? I was adding on what happens if the person plays in the laboratory. OK, you can go on and add. The person can hurt themselves. They can get an accident by hurting. Can you please also add for me one, one of the rules you design if you are the, the, the laboratory attendant? You should not enter the laboratory without permission. Very good, without the permission. Can I hear from Levin, Levin and Abigail? Levin and Abigail? Uh, you should read container labels carefully to avoid mixing wrong. Very good. Avoid mixing things, or you have to read the labels on the container so that yeah, you don't. Too. Good. Then Christine is saying funnel, pipette, those are the ones. Now, so that's our first lesson. Is there another one, Levin? Is there another rule you want to add? Yes, Joel? Avoid carrying out an experiment without permission. Very, very good. Avoid carrying out an experiment without permission. Levin, is there anything you want to add? Yeah. Keep, the, uh -huh. keep, keep windows open while the laboratory is in use. For, for air aeration, right? Yeah. Very good. Good. So those are the, those are the skills which are, we shall want to test. We shall not say, what are laboratory rules and regulation? No, we shall not ask for laboratory rules and regulation. We shall say, Abigail, you have been elected as the laboratory attendant of, let's say, St. Joseph Vocational School, Barara. Can you design the laboratory rules and regulations? So those are the skills which you need. So I see Evans with the hands up. Yes, Evans, uh, you have put your hands down. It's okay. Good. So we shall always have end of topic assessment. If we have talked about laboratory, just like how we have talked about, and talking, okay. So after the end of the topic, after the end of the topic, we shall do assessment. After doing the assessment, after doing the assessment, we shall call that to be an activity of integration. Now, after seeing our laboratory, the topics is done. Now we go to the activity of integration. So an activity of integration is a competent-based assessment approach, which focuses more on one, what the individual learner can do rather than what she can, he or she knows. We shall be asking you what you can do, but not what you know. Then number two, the application of the knowledge. Yes, you will be knowing, but we shall be asking you the application. Don't you know the laboratory rules? You know them. So we shall not ask you to state for us laboratory rules. We shall ask you if you're the lab attendant. Can you design the laboratory rules? So those are the applications. If, if you design the laboratory rule number two, where, can, where else can it be used? So that is that. Uh, so next is recognizing achievements made by the learner, however small they may be. So the activity of integration will be aimed at recognizing what you can do, what you have done, even if it's very small. 
we want that skill. Is that okay? Is that fine, members? Is that okay? You can let me know in the chat or you can use the signal. There's a signal for reaction. You say yeah or no. Is that fine? Oh, Marvin says yes. But Marvin, Marvin, can you unmute? Marvin? Hello, Marvin? Marvin? Yes, teacher. How are you? How are you today? I'm fine, thank you, teacher. Oh, I'm happy I'm with you here once again, okay? Yes, teacher. Let's keep studying. Thank you, thank you. Good. So that is that. So that is activity of integration. A case in point. These are the components. We have competency, activities, tools, support materials, and then activity of integration. So activity of integration will have competency. That's what we shall be testing. What can you do? Then you will have, of course, what to do. That is the activity. Then you will have the tools, what to use, and the materials as well. So uh, basically what an activity of integration is, is the last summative activity to evaluate the learner's understanding, ability to solve a contextualized problem through integration of knowledge, skills, and behavior of the chapter. It will contribute 20% of the nationality assessment. I've already told you this. So an activity of integration is done in the range of situations and should enable the learner to demonstrate the competences stated in the chapter introduction. We had introduction. When he's starting a chapter, there is always some introduction that is under basic skills that you're supposed to acquire the objectives, the learning outcomes you will always be there. So an activity of integration will always address that. Good. An example, we have just studied a laboratory. I'm going to request one person to answer, to attempt this activity of integration. You have been elected as the prefect in charge of the laboratory in your school. The senior one class is about to report for first term. Many of these students have never heard about physics laboratory. Can you prepare a short speech about the laboratory for the new senior one students? Your speech should not take more than 10 minutes. You have been elected this prefect in charge of the laboratory. Let us assume that you're in senior two and senior ones are reporting in school and most of them have never heard of the physics laboratory. And now you have, you have been elected to prepare a speech about the physics laboratory for the new senior ones. How would you do that? Can somebody give us briefly what you can do? I like Joel. Joel, you're very active. <laughs> I like Joel. The rest are also very active, but Joel, eh? Joel, can you talk now? Start. You have prepared the laboratory. You have been elected as the prefect, and you're going to make a speech. To senior ones who have never heard of the laboratory, start. I would start by greeting the, the, the new You students. greet us. We are the senior ones. You greet us, and you continue. Good morning, senior ones. Good morning, sir. Uh, How are you, sir? I'm okay. Mm. I would like to welcome to this school. And uh, mm. it, has come, it has come to my attention that most of you have never heard about a physics laboratory. Mm. So I'm going, to, I'm going to take you through what they call a physics laboratory. First mm. of all, let's begin. What is a laboratory? A laboratory is a place designed for carrying out experiments. So when we talk about a physics laboratory, this is a place where we carry out experiments concerning physics. Mm. Now the laboratory, it's a good place, but we need to take care of it. Mm. The laboratory has very many 
apparatus that we use to carry out the experiments. Mm. So when you enter your, the laboratory, we have mm. some rules that you should follow. You don't just enter and you have to get permission before entering the laboratory. You're not supposed to play in the laboratory. Mm. You don't make noise in the laboratory. You don't carry out experiments anyhow. You have to first get permission from the teacher or the lab attendant. Mm. Thank you for listening. Oh my God, Joel, Joel, yes, Joel, yes. Do you have MTN number? No. Oh my God, you're going to set up a soda from teacher Daniel, okay? Okay. Uh, you send for me your Airtel number, I send you your soda. Thank you so much, okay? You have made it all joyful. Good, good, good. You have applied what you know about physics laboratory. You have told the whole world about physics hours. Uh, if you could see my face, I was just smiling. I say, ah, for sure, this is too good. Oh my God. So this is how you're going to be setting the AOI, activity of integration. You've been elected the prefect and you're supposed to write a speech. Now, can you start? Blah, 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 physics laboratory is this. And these are the parameters which are contained. When you're in the laboratory, make sure you don't do this. So you are telling people what the laboratory is. You are telling people what the parameters which are in the laboratory. You are telling people in, I mean, laboratory roles. You are telling them. In so doing, you are applying the knowledge of what you already know to make a statement to address the community. So in that case, we call such as activity of integration. Now, when we are marking an activity of integration, we mark five, I mean, we mark 10, make, mark out of 10. So if a question like this, I'll be marking Joel now. So when I'm marking Joel, I follow what we call to be race. Race is relevancy, accuracy, coherence, and excellency. Now, the question was, you have been elected the physics prefect, I mean the prefect in charge of a laboratory. Can you write a statement? Can you write a statement about physics lab? Then when you talk about physics laboratory, when you talk about laboratory, that is the relevance. If you talk about something around laboratory, then that is relevance. So you get the theory marks. Then accuracy, how, how unique, how specific are you? Are you online of the physics lab or you're going even to the chemistry lab? If you're still talking about the physics laboratory, you're telling us the apparatus which are found in physics laboratory, you're telling us the laboratory rules, you're telling us everything about physics laboratory, we say you are very accurate. And so you take the three max. So far, how many are those? Six. Coherency. Coherency. How do you make your statements to flow? Do you start by saying, oh, welcome. Thank you for joining our school. Uh, in, when you're in the laboratory, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. Physics laboratory is a special room where we do this, this, and that. Uh, are your statements? connected. Are you not supposed to define physics lab before you go to the laboratory rules? Are you not supposed to state the rules? Are you not supposed to first give the apparatus before you give the rules? So that is the coherence, the flow. You cannot start by giving us the definition of laboratory, then you say, my name is Joel. So you get that? That is coherency. Then excellency is an additional information, is an exceptional statement which you have written. Joel, if I'm to mark Joel, Joel has got a relevance for, I mean, theory. 
I can say three, I can say two, I can say one. Then excellency, where is the mark for excellency here now? Uh, Joel, if Joel had come and said, hello, good afternoon, once again, I welcome you. I thank you for joining our school, for choosing our school. We are so delighted and happy to have you here. Please feel at home. My name is Joel. I am in charge of laboratory in senior, I mean, in this school. So I take this opportunity to welcome you to our school. And I would like to take you through physics laboratory. But before I do that, may I know if there's anyone who could have heard about laboratory? Then you can pause there a bit. They say, if not there, then briefly, physics laboratory is made up of this, this, and this. And it is this, this, and this. And it contains this, this, and this. However, when you're in the laboratory, care must be taken. Reason being, if you don't take care, these apparatus, some of them are delicate, they can easily break. Some chemicals which are there are also explosive, they can burn. You can also hurt yourself with some sharp objects which are there. And so you have to take the following care once in the laboratory. Number one, do this, 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 and this. Number two, do this, 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 and this. Number three, do this, 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 and that. Because of that, allow me to stop here and then, oh my God. So you find you have added salt. Actually, I call excellency to be salt. I give you all the 10 marks without hesitation. I cannot hesitate. So that's how we shall be marking this race. So in evaluation grade, we shall have race, relevance, accuracy, coherence, and excellency. Relevance will be theory, uh, accuracy will be theory, coherence will be theory, and excellency will be three. So we shall have the evaluation grade this way. Then we mark, when you add theory, 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 that is 10. Then you come back. From there, this will be the assessment. Use only the following. We shall do, do essays, we shall do tests, and we shall do projects. So briefly, I'm so glad, I'm happy and delighted to be with you for being patient, for listening to me. I believe after here, we shall be very ready for the next topic. That would be measurement in physics. To, I'm very sure you'll be positioned to have these skills ready with us. I can give chance to anyone who has a question. If you have any question, please raise up the hand and ask. If everything is okay, please, can you type in the chat that everything is fine? Okay, I have a hand up. Giovanna, Giovanna, yes, Giovanna, can you unmute? Um, like I Giovanna, to... how are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh. Um, are we supposed to write what you're screen sharing to us? Oh, this one. No, like through the lesson, like from the beginning. Oh, this one is going to be available in our website. And not only that, also in Google Classroom, OK? OK. And I think uh, we shall make it, uh, we shall see how it can reach you. We shall make sure the notes reach you, OK? Is that OK, Giovanna? Yes, it's OK. Thank you. But has everything been okay? Have you understood everything which you have studied today? Yes, I have. Oh, yes, thank I you so much. Thank you. Uh, before I end, uh, allow me called one of the administrators to give a closing remarks. But I wish my senior ones a nice lunch, please hit lunch.
Well, if you can take two plates, tell mommy, daddy, we have studied something. So I need to eat well so that I can memorize this so that can be in my mind. Please in our next lesson, don't miss. As we are going to apply all this which you have studied today. Is that okay, members? Is it fine? Okay, good. Let me call one of the demonstrators to take us through a closing remark. I don't know whether Drashila is available or Steven, hello. Hello, Mr. Anila. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, Chad Daniel? I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm here with my lovely senior ones for sure. You know, it's been such a beautiful, joyful lesson. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. Mm. Um, senior ones, please let's give a very big applaud for teacher Alira Daniel. He has taken us through what is expected in a physics syllabi of senior one. A very sad, yes. Thank you so much. Um, once again, I want to thank you, senior ones, for joining us. Thank you for picking us to be your next generation classroom. This is senior1.org once again. Um, thank you for registering with us. Now, those of you that have been following smoothly, we are going to have that work, like teacher Alira said earlier, it's going to be put onto our Google Classroom and as well as the website. Keep in touch with us. Please spread the gospel. Tell people about senior1.org. Then you can contact us through our WhatsApp. Okay. Our WhatsApp number is zero seven zero two zero zero our whatsapp is zero two zero zero nine zero seven okay that is how it is at uh, the way you see on the screen nine zero seven two zero seven then follow through the email at info at senior one dot org and then contact our website, which is www.senior1.org. For any payments or any queries, please contact that number on your screen. Otherwise, thank you. We are here to develop your talent, give you guidance and counseling lessons, as well as make you an academic giant on all aspects regarding the new competence-based competence Curriculum. Mr. Dumba, do you have anything else to add? Mr. Dumba? Okay. Yes, yeah, yes, teacher, uh, teacher Drusilla. Uh, good morning, everybody. Thank you so much, teacher Daniel, for this lesson. It was such an insightful and interesting one. Uh, I want to remind Thank our you. learners. I want to remind our learners that we have put the physics syllabus in, the, in our Google Classroom. And also this presentation by Teacher Daniel will be in the Google Classroom. By the end of the day, the assignment will also be there. And don't, don't forget to join us in tomorrow's geography lesson uh, at 10 a.m. Uh, that's all I have to share. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, uh, demonstrators, for the final remarks. Uh, as we go home, my senior ones, as you go and enjoy your lunch, please eat lunch in physics language, OK? <laughs> eat lunch in physics, OK? Kale, goodbye for now. See you. Thank you. Greet mommy, greet daddy, greet uncle, greet aunt, and greet brother and sisters. Goodbye, goodbye.